Was Vladimir Koloff really Nikita Koloff minus the steroids? If not, <laughs> then he damn sure looks like him. Thank you for your great work, gentlemen. And yes, I always do use my left and right turn indicators at all times. Minus the steroids. I think Vladimir may have been on more steroids. He just didn't have the genetics. Um, no, I <laughs> Um, no, Vladimir was a nice guy. Um, it just, uh, he was the last of the Koloff extended family that he was a guy that, that, uh, they had found in North Carolina, right at, at the time where, uh, Crockett had gone out of business and there was a few independent guys getting in, uh, at the time to work for like the NAWA, the Paul Jones and those guys had started for a while. <clears throat> and he worked a little bit for me in the early days of Smoky Mountain because he was serving as Ivan's, you know, gimmick, uh, nephew or whatever. Um, but, uh, he, he didn't, he didn't hang with the, the business over the long haul, but he, he was a nice guy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what I can say. Um, when I was in high school, there was one Dean that really liked me. He put up with me. He like, he would not give me detention when I clearly deserved detention, which happened frequently. And at one point he went to Florida for something. And he came back he, and he called me to his office. I thought I was in trouble. And he goes, I got you something. Cause I know you love wrestling. And he takes out two eight by tens autographed. One is Vladimir Koloff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he got me the bullshit Koloff autograph. And the other was Stan Lane, and it's Stan and Steve in like Speedos. And I'm oh. thinking, he thinks I'm gay. Like, like you can't no, buy this for not, another no, man. You, you know why? Because Vladimir became friends with Stan uh, because they both lived in Charlotte. And, and and as a matter of fact, Stan told me he got somehow Vladimir. He still has some of those pictures, by the way, or at least he did a year or two ago because somehow Vladimir Koloff had got him some deal on like 10,000 pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stan ended up not doing a lot of shows and then just retiring and getting out of the business. He had 10,000 pictures in his closet that Vladimir Koloff had got for him for like 10 cents a piece or whatever. Um, so that's probably and it, and he was probably at a Walmart on the interstate uh, on the way back from Florida to New York. You're you know set up with a table, signing autographs. That's where the principal. He didn't have to go to a show. He probably just walked in trying to buy a fucking battery or something. Beyond the homoeroticism and the nudity in the photo, which certainly I did not want. The worst thing in the world as a wrestling fan is getting an autograph photo of a tag team and you only get one of the tag. And team get parts. one of them, yeah. yeah. The fuck's the point? I, <laughs> Steve Kurtz just smiling at me. I don't even have his autograph. <laughs> well, speaking of the Midnight Express, we've got gotten... hey, even worse is when you get two out of three. If there's a manager and a tag team and you got two of them, and then it's just mocking you. <laughs>